Hey there! Is today your first time here? Or maybe your first time in a while? If so, maybe you're wondering exactly who we are and what this church is all about. Well, we'd like you to know that we're a group of ordinary people who are on an amazing journey together, following Christ. Our guide is the Bible because it's the divinely inspired Word of God and it will never take us in the wrong direction. Along the way, we hope you'll see that we are welcoming and spiritually passionate and that getting to know you is a big deal to us. We know that the road is rough sometimes, but we'll work really hard to bring you practical and relevant messages to equip and encourage you through life's ups and downs. We want you to know that we care about this community, and we believe that it's our job to make it a better place. So, no matter who you are or where you've been, we're glad you're here with us today. And we hope that you'll join us on our journey, following Christ and living out His plan for us. So, welcome to church. you call my perfection to peace Jesus you are redefining free Lord you calm the storm and still the sea Jesus, you are redefining me. Life has blinded shame. I walk in a wide place. Life has blinded shame. Walk in a wide place There's no other name Spoken from dust to grace There's no other name Spoken to liberate Friends, Ecthusians, countrymen, 
Greetings! Welcome back. Thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the 2021st year of life as we know it. The first year as a start of this century was quite something. If there's only one word that I could use for 2020, it would be the word monumental. The pandemic. Those were the days and these are the days that made the earth stand still. 2020 has been a year of revealing. It made us realize the things that mattered most. Family, relationship, community. For most of us, we asked questions pertaining to survival. Now what? What am I going to do now? How am I going to make it through? If there's a Bible verse that I could attach to the year 2020, it would be the words of this guy named Isaiah in the Bible. In chapter 54 of his book, he said, No weapon formed against you will prosper. Well, praise God, from whom all blessings flow. We're still here and we're still standing. This 2021, I believe these verses would be our prayer as a community as well. Ephesians 3.20 and Philippians 1.6 now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us and being confident of this that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of christ jesus every day is a new beginning and god's mercies are new every morning this year is going to be god's year by that I mean, it would be a year of surrender, our hearts, our minds, our will, and we say to him, let your will be done. Thank you for choosing to be with us this morning, noon or nighttime. I think that's a song. I hope today's message inspire you, encourage you, and transform you. And this would be just a beginning of a conversation between you and Jesus. Let's all stand together and bless God's name through singing. Eyes of the blind, there's no one like you, none like you. Into the darkness you shine, out of the ashes we rise, there's no one like you, none like you. Our God is greater, our God is stronger God, you are higher than any other Our God is healer, awesome in power Our God, our God Into the darkness you shine out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you None like you Our God is greater Our God is stronger God, you are higher than any other Our God is healer Awesome in power Our God our God, our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God. If 
if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? Then what can stand against? God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, our God is healer, awesome power, our God, our God, our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, our God is healer. Awesome power, our God, our God. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? What can stand
praise you, Lord, for you are good and your love endures forever. We praise you in the stillness. We praise you in the silence. And we thank you for leading us into the quiet so we can hear your still, small voice telling us that we are loved, that we are favored, and that you are our Father. We choose to praise you even while in the storm, Lord. Give us the grace when we can't and enable us to trust you when we don't see it and help us to worship when we don't feel like it. Holy Spirit, we welcome you here. Have your way in us and let your will be done. We bless your name, God. Amen. My name is Pastor Norman, and welcome to ICTUS Next Gen. Before I proceed, let me greet each one of you who are watching us this morning. A blessed, happy New Year 2021 to all of you. Wherever you are watching us, either here or abroad, a blessed, happy New Year to all of you. I would like to greet Jeff Delumpines in California. Jeff is the brother of Lynn Delumpines Kwan. Salamat gid Jeff sa imo nga pagsunod sa aton nga mga broadcast diri sa Ictos kag sa imo man nga suporta sa Ictos Next Gen. And of course to all our cluster churches and our house churches all over Iloilo and Gimaras, maayo gid nga aga sa inyo nga tanan. People are asking me ti maano kita sa Sininga 2021. Other churches came back to live worship service. Maano kita iya? Diri sa Iktos. Well, before the year ended last December, I have already announced that for the first quarter of 2021, we are going to continue with what we are doing here at Iktos Next Gen. That means that we are going to worship together in our houses or clusters by our recorded messages. Kaya nga ah, hindi man sa gihapon safe ang tanan. While hope is looming over the horizon with the release of the vaccine, rumors of the new strain of the virus also threatens everyone. In fact, I have read the news from Philippine News Agency that starting January 3, the Bureau of Immigration will close our borders to all foreigners coming from the US, the UK, the Middle East, and other Asian countries. Until when, I do not know. For Filipinos coming back from these countries, they will be required to go through the 14-day quarantine in Manila at their own expense. Now, I don't know kung malockdown na naman kita liwat. But the point is, hindi man gyapon safe ang tanan. So, padayo nagigkitaanay sa aton ng ginahimo. 
observe lang kita sa proper health protocols kag kun pwede lang kun indi man lang importante likawan talang gid anay ang sigilagaw. Now this morning as we start the new year, I want to talk to you about the presence of God. We live in uncertain times and we don't know what will happen next. Kun maglawig pagid ini, wala kita kabalo kun ano ang sunod nga matabo. Wala kita kabalo kun asta san unaton mainat ang aton nga resources. Wala kita kabalo kun asta diin ang malambutan sang aton nga mga sinuptan. Ina kun may ara ikaw sinuptan, kakun ikaw na wadaan sang trabaho tungod sang pandemic, ayan nagapalibog ka na sa subong kun diin ka makuha sang ibulos mo nga kwarta sa imong nga ginabaton nga sweldo sang una. Sa pangkabilugan, wala kita kabalo kun asta san o makasustiner ang ekonomiya sang aton nga syudad kag sang aton man nga pungsod. You know, in times like this, I would like to encourage you with the truth of the presence of God. In Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 to 6, in the New International Version, it says, Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, The Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Magapangamuyo anay kita. Ginoo sa liwat sa sininga aga nagapasalamat kid kami sang imo nga kaayo kag sang imo nga katutom sa among tagsatagsa ka mga kabuhi. The year 2020 has ended and we are about to start this year 2021. Lord, again, we don't know what awaits us this year, but we thank you that you are already there. Salamat, Gid Ginoo, kay ikaw nag-una na sa amon sa Siningatuig. Salamat, Gid, sa kamatuuran nga palangga ni mo kami. Salamat, Gid Ginoo, sa kamatuuran that you are making all things new for our lives. And you just want the best for each one of us. And so, Lord, as we open your word today, I pray that you uh, speak to each one of us today through your word. Bless your servant, Lord, and use me as a means of blessing that you can speak to your people today. Bless your word. Holy Spirit of God, be our teacher. This morning, this is my prayer, dear God, with thanksgiving in my heart. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 to 6 in the New International Version. You know, in times like this, we need to remind ourselves that only with the reality of God, but the reality of the presence of God in our lives. Tanan kita nagapati man nga may Diyos ang kalibutan. Nagapati man kita nga wala sang butang nga natago sa Diyos, na ibaluan sang Diyos ang aton mga kahimtangan. Sa mga tumuluo, nagatuo man kita nga palangga kita sang Diyos. Pero sa sininga aga, sa aton na pagtuon sa nga pulong sang ginoo, ang ako ang gusto i-highlight amo nga ang ini nga Diyos nga tag-iya sang kalibutan, nga ang ini nga Diyos nga nakakita sang tanan nga butang, ang ini nga Diyos nga nagapalangga sa aton, kaupod mo sa imo nga pagpadayon sang imo kabuwi sa sininga tuig 2021. Nga ah, kay kon amusin ni ang imo tuuhan, Kaya kung amusin ni ang imo uyatan nga kamatuuran, it will really change the way you start your year and the way you live your life for the rest of the year of 2021. The reality of the presence of God is really the game changer of how we are going to live our lives this year and in the years to come. Can you imagine? God is with you and He promised never to leave you nor forsake you, no matter what? I may not exhaust everything that covers the presence of God in our lives, but this morning I want to share with you three things that will change your lives forever starting this year if you are going to live your life in the presence of God. Three things. Are you ready? Arana? Sige. Number one. The presence of God in our lives encourages us. Look at verse 5. Never will I leave you, 
Never will I forsake you. This is the promise of God to each one of us. Remember the first day of school of your children? Hindi ko kabaloko na tuod ini all the time or it only applies to some boys, not all boys, but during the first day of school kuno, mas excited iya ang mga kabataan nga babae sang sa mga kabataan nga lalaki. Ang nagahibi-hibi kuno ya permi amo ni ang mga bata nga lalaki. Ang terrible kuno ya separation anxiety sa first day of school amo permi ang mga bata nga lalaki. Hindi iya ang mga bata nga babae. No, I don't know. Kung tuod ini sa tanan nga kabataan nga lalaki o kung sa iban lang nga kabataan nga lalaki. Dumduman ko si Jan Jan, siling ko ba o Jan Jan? Hindi ko ma-imagine kung ano ang matabo sa first day of school sang imo kapid. Basi ikaw pa ya bala ang mas grabe separation ang sa iti house ang sa kapid. Pero amo kuno sini permi ang nagakatabo. Sa amon nga duha ka kabataan ang matuod man ini, mas anxious iya si Toto Herman compared sa kay Inday Fides. May mga school pa naman ni Abi iya nga wala nagaalaw sang mga parents nga magtupad sa ilang nga kabataan. Dapat ang mga parents sa sagwa gid. But you know what makes the difference? When you tell your child that you will never leave them, you stand by the window in a place that they can see you and assure them that whenever they look there, they will see you. And that settles their troubled hearts. That encourages them that mommy and daddy will be there for them. Now the problem is, as the days go by, they start to meet new friends and they are now starting to connect with their teachers, they are now enjoying their class, and they start to forget you. Madumduman lang nila kita sa liwat kung may ara sila nga kinahanglan, or masakit sila, or madusmo sila. Sounds familiar? When we were just starting our relationship with God, we were also like little children going to school for the first time. We always look up to the presence of God in our lives. We always pray. We read our Bibles. We connect with other believers and we serve one another. But along the way, the routines and schedules of life took away our time and attention. And we get along with it. We became comfortable with it. And soon enough, we forget about the presence of God in our lives. God is still there. Yes, never left us nor forsaken us, but we are not aware of it anymore. We just run to His presence when we are hurt or we need something that we know only God can give. And this has been our lives for all of us, for most of us. And then the pandemic happened. And we were brought into the realization that we need God, that without God we can do nothing. But if you have been living your life away from the reality of His presence, sometimes we wonder if He is still there. My friends, if you feel that you are so far away from God, guess who moved? Because it is not God who moved. Maybe it's you who moved away from God. My friends, as we start the year 2021, one of the encouragements that we can have is the reality of the presence of God in our lives. That He has promised never to leave us, nor forsake us, no matter what. Amuni ang una na bagay nga aton dapat tandaan. Number two, the presence of God in our lives enables us as we go through life, empowers us as we go through life. Look at verse 6 of Hebrews chapter 13. So we say with confidence, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. Before the year 2020 ended, last month of December, I attended a simple but formal turnover ceremony of Ion Group of Companies. Mr. Felix Tio, or Manong Nunoy, as we call him in the presence of his family and the senior leaders, formally stepped aside and turned over the position of Chief Executive Officer or CEO and the President of their company to his only son, Ion Tiu. 
Now, He will still be there to guide them and to coach them when needed. But starting this year, it will be Eon who will stand as the CEO and the new president of Eon Group of Companies. Now, knowing Manong Nonoy and Manang Burn for more than 20 years, and knowing how they built their business from scratch over the years, from humble beginnings, I know that it will be a big challenge for Eon and his siblings taking over the company. A week after that, Eileen and I took Eon and his wife Shani over lunch and we just encouraged them. With God by their side, as their pastor, I believe that they can do it. With the help of God, I know that they can lead the company to greater heights, more than they have planned for or even imagined. The same God who sustained their parents through the years will be the same God who will be with them this year as they start their newly appointed position. I believe that with all my heart. The presence of God in our lives empowers us and enables us, whatever challenges, whatever trials we will be facing in our lives. Now, how about you? Maybe you are not like Eon and Shani who will be running a big company starting this year, but maybe you have your own challenges in life as well. Maybe you are a parent who had a hard time last year teaching your children their modular classes, modular lessons. Now, we don't know this year kung pa dayon man gyapon ang modular classes this school year. Listen, God who empowered you to teach your kids their lessons last year will be the same God who will enable you to teach your kids their lessons this year no matter how challenging it will be. Or maybe you are a frontliner and you have parents whose health are immunocompromised. You worry because if you will be infected with the virus, you don't know what will happen next. And it is just a matter of time. Purya palayo lang. You know? Listen. The God who protected you last year will be the same God who will protect you and your parents this year. He promised never to leave you nor forsake you. Or maybe you were laid off from work and you are thinking of ways to let ends meet this year by selling stuff online. But you still worry. Listen. God who promised to provide you with everything that you need in the past will be the same God who will provide you with everything that you will need this year and even in the years to come. Now, how do we know? How can we be so sure? Because of the reality of His presence. He promised us never to leave us nor forsake us. And then the last, but not the least, the presence of God in our lives will guide us. We live in uncertain times. It seems that all of us are living in the dark because we don't know what will happen next. If you are a businessman, you cannot plan to expand your business because quarantine lockdowns can be imposed anytime. You cannot plan your travel or vacation. Next year, my mother will be celebrating her 75th birthday. And as early as this, my siblings in the U.S. filed for leave from their work already. And they are inviting us. They are inviting my family to go to the U.S. to celebrate that big day with our mother. Next year, God willing. But we cannot plan. We cannot decide because everything is uncertain. How about school? Will it be the same next school year? I don't know. We don't know. If you have been laid off from work because business is down, what will you do? What job will you take this year? Now again, I don't know. We don't know. Everything is still uncertain. But listen, in times like this, all we can do is to live one day at a time, one moment at a time, drawing near to God, listening His voice, 
trusting that His abiding presence will guide us as we go through life. In one of the team building activities that I have attended, we were all blindfolded under the heat of the sun with time pressure and we were instructed to form a perfect diamond. There were more than 20 of us participants. And it's hard because you cannot see anything. Plus the time pressure and the discomfort of doing that under the heat of the sun. Now, aside from that, you hear a lot of voices. You need to listen very carefully and decide which voice will you trust. Listen, life last year was like that. And I don't know what life this year will be. We don't know what's ahead of us. Therefore, we must decide which voice shall we trust and obey. Learn to trust in the presence of God. Learn to live in the presence of God. And if you do that, His presence will guide you so that you will not stray from Him and you will not fall into sin. Now, as we close, you know what rubs the reality of the presence of God in our lives? You know what takes away the reality of the presence of God in my life and your life? Two things. Ara man siya sa aton nga text sa subo nga aga. Love of money and covetousness. Look at verse 5 once again. The Bible says, Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. COVID-19 really taught us that what matters most in this life is not money and making more money. Because whatever we have saved, whatever we have invested, whatever we have worked so hard through the years, will just come to nothing in an instant. Pwede gidya nga madula ini sa aton. Or pwede man magtupa ini sa wala pulos. Kun magmasakit kita, kag mapatay kita tungod sang COVID-19. COVID-19 also taught us a very important lesson in covetousness. Since the lockdown, we started looking at the things that we have accumulated through the years and we realized that we have more than what we need. In fact, we realized that we have so much that we have not even used. And so we started posting them online and we bartered them with something that we can use. Remember, sang una giginagsugod ang uh, pandemic, ang nag-uso man dayon ang barter. Kay kadamo kita sa mga butang nga nakit-an sa aton balay. Kadamo kita sa mga butang nga nakit-an sa aton kabuwi nga wala labot ka hindi taman kinanglan wala man ganit naton nagamit. And so we barter them for less sa mga butang which we think nga aton niya kinanglan. Kagadamo pagid sobra. Kag atong mga sobra we started sharing them to others nga mga wala-wala gidya. With the pandemic, we also stopped buying things that we usually buy year after year after year. Clothes, shoes, bags. Kaiti, tungod sang lockdown, wala man tagyapo na katuan. So what's the point? So, okay man gali ah. Nga ang imo nga bayo, um, pila lang kabilog, nga masulit-sulit mo lang kung diin ka man magadto kung ano mga okasyon ang imo ang katuan. Be content with what you have and trust God that God will provide you with what you need when you need it. So as we close, three things. Number one, watch out for your attitude towards money. Bantayi ang imo ang tagipusoon. Bantayi ang imo attitude pag abot sa kwarta. Kagpag angkon sang damo-damo ang kwarta. Tungod sa natabo sa aton sa nagligad nga tuig, tungod sa COVID-19, kabay patani nga sa aton pagsugod sa sini nga tuig 2021. Matunaan natun bala ang inang simple nga kamatuuran nga pabalik-balik nga natudlo sa Ginoo sa aton nga ang pinakaimportante nga butang sa kabuwi hindi amo ang kwarta. Kag ang pagtipon sang damo pagig nga kwarta. 
kundi amo ang presensya sa Diyos, ang aton nga relasyon sa Diyos, kag sa isa, kag isa. Amo na ang pinakauna, ginagabutang, watch out your attitude towards money. Number two, be thankful for what you have rather than fret for the things that you don't have. Amo man ni ang isaman nga gintudlo, maayo nga butang nga gintudlo sa nga pandemic sa aton. Be content with what you have. Tungod sa lockdown na realize naton nga hindi gid man galit naton kinanglan ang damo-damo nga mga butang. Ang aton nga kinanglan sa kabuwi mga simple gid lang nga mga butang nga aton magamit sa pang-adlaw-adlaw nga kabuwi. Ang sobra dira, sobra na ina. Hindi na siya naton kinanglan. And the last but not the least is learn to live in the reality of the presence of God. You know why my friends? Because this is what matters most. Kung may ara pa nga pinaka-importante nga butang sa kabuhi, amo ang aton personal nga relasyon sa Diyos. Kagpaagi sa aton personal nga relasyon sa Diyos, nagkambyo ang aton nga mga kabuhi. Kag ang ina nga pagkambyo, aton man mapalaton sa iban. And so as we start this year, it is my prayer that we will start living our lives this year, starting this month, in the reality of the presence of God. God bless you, and see you again next Sunday. Shall we pray? Father, once again, I thank you that you have given us this privilege to enter this new year of 2021. And Lord, it is my prayer that as we start this year, would you enable us to live in your presence? And as we continually live in your presence, Father, may your glory shine upon each one of us. And may this same glory will also shine upon others, that they may also know you and be drawn closer to you. I pray, Lord, for each of your people who are watching me right now. I don't know, Lord, kung ano ina ang bagay, ano ina ang butang ang nagaupang sa ila ginoo sa ila ginoo nga pagpalapit sa imo sa ila ginoo nga pagkabuhi sa imo lord whatever it is by your mercies kapay pa nga ikaw ang magakuha sa ni sa ila kag padayon sa ila padayon ginoo nga magadala sa ila palapit sa imo i bless ginoo ang tagsa-tagsa sa imo nga mga kanakan tuon sang imo pulong sa siningaaga lord help us to be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving our own selves bless us lord for your glory bless us lord for your honor use us once again mightily starting this year in jesus name we pray amen and amen again god bless you and hope to see you again next sunday thank you
morning and welcome to our first Lord's Supper for the year 2021. The reality of the presence of God in our everyday lives really matters to Jesus. That's why on the night before he died, he gathered his followers, he gathered his disciples and told them, in a short while I will be gone. I'm going away from you. But whenever you gather together, I want you to remember me. Whenever you break bread, I want you to remember my body, which was broken for all of you. And whenever you drink the juice from the cup, I want you to remember my lifeblood, which was spilt to cover all your sins. And so for more than 2,000 years, we as Christ followers have been doing this in remembrance of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we partake these elements in our first Lord's Supper for the year 2021, may we always remember the promise of Jesus that He will never leave us nor forsake us. As we partake the bread, let's remember the body of the Lord which was broken for us. And as we drink the juice from the cup, let's remember His lifeblood. And as we do this, month after month after month, throughout this year, may we always remember His presence in our everyday lives throughout the year. Shall we pray? Father, once again, we thank you for the ordinance of the Lord's Supper. That through the Lord's Supper, dear Lord, we can be reminded of the greatness of your love for each one of us through the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ for our sins on the cross of Calvary. And not only his sacrifice on the cross, dear God, but we are also reminded of his resurrection and his promise to always be with us, never to leave us nor forsake us. And so as we partake these elements, dear Lord, as your people will be partaking these elements, these same elements in their clusters, in their households, I pray, dear God, that would you sanctify these elements for your glory. Would you sanctify the bread and would you sanctify the juice that they will be partaking as they remember the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we partake this, let me invite each one of you who are watching us this morning. As you hold the bread in your hand, I want you to repeat these words after me. I eat this bread to remember the body of the Lord Jesus Christ, which was broken for all my sins. Shall we partake the bread in remembrance of the Lord? In the same way also, the cup saying, I drink the juice from this cup to remember the lifeblood 
of the Lord Jesus Christ, which was spelt to cover all my sins. Shall we drink the juice in remembrance of the Lord? The Apostle Paul reminds us in the book of 1 Corinthians that whenever we partake the bread and drink the juice from the cup, we do show the Lord's death until He comes. Shall we pray? Father, once again, as we start our lives this week, I pray, dear Lord, for your hand of blessing upon each of your people today. Bless them, dear God, with the reality of your presence and enable them and empower them to live their lives in the light of your presence that they may manifest your glory in the way they talk, in the way they live, in the way they show others your presence in their lives. Again, Lord, we thank you for the Lord's Supper. We thank you, dear God, for these elements that reminded us not only of your great love for each one of us, but also for your presence in each of our lives until you come again. Bless us, Lord, today for your glory and for your honor. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, and i see you in our next Lord's Supper next month. God bless you. It's about time to give. We would like to thank you our ICFAS family, our partners, and to our donors who are amazing and faithful in their giving. God bless you even more, and thank you for investing in God's kingdom and for partnering with us. I want to impart two words for us all this morning, direction and provision. Proverbs 3, 6, it says, in everything you do, put God first, and he will direct you and crown your efforts with success. Matthew 6.33, it says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Let's get ready to give joyfully, and let's get ready to worship through giving. Let me pray for us. Father, we thank you that you are our Jehovah Chira that you are the God who sees things in advance and provides. We thank you for our jobs, our businesses, and our capacities to create wealth. We offer these things to you, Lord, as an act of worship and as an act of obedience. Bless us, Lord, and advance our territories for your glory and honor. In Christ's name, amen.
God Beauty of a Savior You are wonderful God Oh my Creator God You are wonderful Savior 